and first year it was off, and now it's back on. We're talking about the statewide election for tomorrow. Governor Evers today ordered the vote postponed until June, but the state Supreme Court decided the governor did not have the power to do that. So here's where we stand right now. In-person voting is indeed set for tomorrow. If you have an absentee ballot, you must turn it in or have it postmarked and in the mail by tomorrow for it to count. You can also drop it off at the polling place by 8 tomorrow night. If you ask for an absentee ballot but have not yet received it and don't get it tomorrow, you must vote in person if you do want to cast a ballot. Again, ballots mailed after the 7th, which is tomorrow, will not be counted. So now as Wisconsin is set to move their elections forward tomorrow, despite coronavirus fears, voters must now decide to exercise their right to vote or to heed the warnings to stay home and be safe. NBC 26's Matt Jarko has more on today's developments. For weeks now, there have been discussions about whether or not Wisconsin will move forward with Tuesday's election. Well, we now have our answer. Yes, voters will be able to go to the polls after a 4-2 ruling by the state's Supreme Court. Earlier Monday, Governor Tony Evers issued an executive order in an effort to postpone the election two months until June. Evers originally opposed such a move, but said circumstances had changed as coronavirus cases continued to climb. Republicans, though, quickly countered his executive order with a challenge in court committed to that course and uh, unfortunately as soon as the water started getting choppy on the issue the governor was our leader our captain was the first one into the lifeboat they're sitting there saying i'm scared i'm scared of going to the polls i'm afraid of my future at the end of the day somebody's got to stand up for those folks we should note, certainly not all voters will be at the polls tomorrow. More than one million people in the Badger State have requested absentee ballots. But what this election looks like for the voters who do go to the polls is still somewhat unknown. In Green Bay, for instance, the city's mayor said they'll have just a few polling locations open, staffed by a little more than a dozen workers. Green Bay and the rest of the cities throughout Wisconsin now have just hours to finalize those plans. Matt Jarko, NBC 26. Matt, thank you. Later today, Governor Evers issued this statement, quote, There are few things we hold more sacred and that are more American than the right to vote. People have bled, fought, and died for the right to vote in this country. But, tomorrow's, but tomorrow in Wisconsin, thousands will wake up and have to choose between exercising their right to vote and staying healthy and safe. In this time of historic crisis, it is a shame that two branches of government in this state chose to pass the buck instead of taking responsibility for the health and safety of the people we were elected to serve, end quote. And tomorrow is a presidential primary here in Wisconsin, so voters can decide on which Democratic candidate would go up against President Trump coming up in November.